guys, I wanted to do a quick kind of take on Gal Gadot being Wonder Woman because that was requested and uh, it seemed like probably the easiest option for right now. I'm so sleepy and overworked, so I'm going to try to make this fast. But um, first of all, just super excited that Wonder Woman was announced because we were not really super sure for a while there. They were looking for someone who fit the physical criteria for Wonder Woman, but we weren't for sure that it was going to be her. And then like kind of over the next week, it had suddenly gone from just casting rumors to she's for sure in the movie and this is who's playing her, which was a bit hard to swallow just because it happened so quickly. But I'm just really, really grateful to see a character that deserves to be in the spotlight in the spotlight. I feel like we've been waiting a really, really long time for this to happen. Um, I was expecting her to show up in Man of Steel and she didn't, so I'm glad to see that she's showing up in the sequel, although the sequel seems to be more like Justice league -y, but I do think that that's just how it looks, that probably um, all the extra characters won't play a huge role, that they'll be more likely setting up for the Justice League film. Um, so how do I feel about Gal? Well, she's not my first pick. I do think that she doesn't really fit the mold of Diana necessarily. Um, she's incredibly slender because she's a model, so um, that's a little bit disappointing, but you know, anyone can put on muscle, anyone can put on mass. I'm assuming that she's probably just going to stop in at the very end of the movie, so they might have time to um, beef her up for her small cameo and have her beefed up for the Justice League film. I really don't believe that she's going to be a huge part of the Man of Steel 2 sequel. So I do think that they will take the time to build her up to look more like Diana, but um, that remains to be seen. Overall, I do think that she has that exotic kind of beauty that they were looking for. They didn't want someone really like bland and normal. Um, I'm happy that they didn't choose someone blonde because they often do do that. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that the blue eye thing isn't there, but um, you know, contacts can fix that. And if not, she, she really does have a similar feel to her. So I think that that's not going to bother me as much. It's, you're never going to get exactly what you want. Um, they're never going to look exactly like the character. And a lot of times when they do look exactly like the character, like Henry Cavill, for instance, it's because he put on muscle like a boss for a long time. Before that, you know, you could tell that there were some features that would play into Superman, but it didn't really come full circle until he put on all that extra mass. Just like Ben Affleck will look more like Batman after he puts on some masks as well. Um, so, you know, again, the whole kind of movie scares me. I'm a little bit nervous and worried about it, but I do think that they could have made a worse choice in, um, in casting. I mean, she doesn't have a lot of roles to her credit, but I think that everyone deserves a chance. And um, who's to say that she's not a really, really good actress? Who knows? I mean, it's not like Fast and the Furious is really about acting or anything, so maybe she just didn't have the opportunity to show off her chops. And again, I don't think that they would put someone who couldn't act next to um, Ben Affleck or next to Henry Cavill or put her in a Zack Snyder film, a huge film. And um, I don't think that they would make her into... I just lost my train of thought because I got a text. I don't think that they would... Um, they know that this character is so important to fans. I don't think they would pick someone that's going to butcher it. I think that they must be certain that she's the one. And um, apparently she was in the military as well. So maybe that's part of it. Maybe we just haven't seen her the way that she can be. So I am a little disappointed in it. Again, Gina Carano was my choice for Wonder Woman and a lot of other people's choice for Wonder Woman. She has a physique and the beauty um, that I think is necessary to play that character. But again, it could have been a worse choice. I'm going to go along with it and I'm going to hope for the very best. And I really do look forward to seeing the movie and I really hope that it turns out the way that we all want it to turn out. And I'm even more excited to see the Justice League movie when it eventually kind of shows itself. So yeah, let me know down below your thoughts on the whole um, Gal Gadot thing. Let me know if you think it's the right casting or if they made a horribly wrong decision. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I'd like to hear from you guys, and I will talk to you soon. If I don't beforehand, again, happy holidays and Merry Christmas.